Gas stations along the U.S. East Coast are beginning to run out of fuel as North America's biggest petroleum pipeline races to recover from the cyber attack that has kept it shut since late Friday. Colonial Pipeline says it's manually operating a segment of the pipeline and now expects to substantially restore all service by the weekend. Well, joining us now is our cybersecurity expert, Jamie Terabay. Jamie, President Biden says that Russia is not really responsible, but, but some of the software, some of the servers are in Russia. What's the nuance? Well, th thanks for having me. Um, I guess in terms of Russia's possible role in the cyber attack, we haven't heard anything directly from the Kremlin and the Russians. Uh, that in the past they have denied involvement in cyber attacks, e even though our like the U.S. intelligence agencies have concluded that Russians have been behind many attacks, including most recently the Solar Winds hack. What we know is that President Biden said there was evidence the hackers or the software they used are in Russia. And we know that private security companies who've worked with government agencies to, in this particular instance with Colonial, to stop data that was stolen during the hack, and they, they interdicted it from making its way to Russia, which is believed to have been the ultimate destination. In terms of Colonial right now, its CEO has said that the company won't restart shipments until the ransomware has been neutralized. That's really important because the cyber attack essentially hijacked Colonial's IT network. The company had to take all of its operations offline. And so there's a significant possibility that if the ransomware isn't completely removed, the hackers could have an opportunity to use their access to try to infiltrate the systems that control the pipes and flows. So that is a huge risk and a major reason why Colonial is operating some of the segments of the pipeline manually. As you just mentioned, there are already gas stations along the East Coast that are beginning to run out of fuel. We know there's been panic buying and long queues. The shortages have hit the aviation industry, and we've seen reports that flights have being forced to stop and add additional stops to their destination so they can fuel up. We also need to say that the pipeline serves 90 U.S. military installations and 26 oil refineries. So the ripple effect of this attack is still to be felt in so many ways. Colonial says it expects to substantially restore all service by the weekend. There is a massive race on to do so. It involves government agencies, the FBI, and a task force put together by the White House. That's not a certainty, though. It really depends on how easily they're able to remove the ransomware or resolve the ransom situation. So right now, it's still developing and nothing really is certain.